Today's topic is lists in Python. So what is list? Let's understand this by working on this sample problem. We all go to grocery stores. What do we do when we are about to leave for grocery stores? Yes, you guessed it right. We make a grocery list, the list of items that we, we want to buy from grocery store. If you want to store this list of items in Python and print them later on with whatever we have learned so far, what you will do is you will essentially create different variables for different items. For example, you will say item one is equal to bread. Item two equal to pasta. Let's say these are all the items that you are buying from a grocery store. And item three equal to, let's say you want to buy some fruits. So you will create these kind of variables. But the problem here is you are creating so many variables. If you have let's say 10 items to buy from a grocery store, you will create 10 variables. And that's a little bit tedious. A programming language should have something better, correct? Uh, list comes to a rescue in this kind of situation. So to do the same thing in a list, what you do is, again, you create a variable which is going to store a list. So you say items equal to, now to start a list, you will open square bracket, then you add all your items in the list, separated by comma, pasta my third item that i want to buy is fruits and i love veggies so let me buy some veggies as well and closing square bracket when i hit enter i just created a list and the list got stored in items variable so when i print items i will see this list so as you see in the diagram, the way list is stored internal in computer memory is, is it is a sequence of memory locations where each of these items are stored. And these locations are accessed by the index. So items will point to a starting location and each of these items will be, let's say bread will be at zeroth index, pasta is at one index and so on. So this is similar to strings uh, if you have listened to my strings episode you will kind of uh, recall some similarity between that and the list all right now if you want to access each of these individual items you can do so by using the index so if you use bracket zero hit enter then it will print bread how do you access this item okay again use the index and this is stored at zero one two so fruits is at number two cool now let's say i made a list i'm about to go to grocery store and i change my mind now instead of bread i want to buy chips how do i modify my list well just to item zero so this is the location at which bread is stored and you say equal to sign chips okay so what we just did is in this list at zero location we placed chips instead of bread so now if you print items you see you notice the difference between this list and this one the first item got changed from bread to chips so this is how you change the value of individual element within a list okay now how do you access a range of elements so for example i want to print first two elements from the list again you can use the sub index range if you recall from my string episode so you just use the starting index so which is zero so let's say you want to print in this list you want to print chips and pasta so chips is stored at zero location and colon pasta is at one but you don't specify one because the way Python index works is the second index is always excluded. So you have to say one plus one, which is two. And if you do that, it will print chips and pasta. Let's say you want to print the last element in the list. For that, you can use a negative index. So negative one means index number one, but from the end. All right. You can also 
use append there is a method called append which can be used to append an element so for example let me just reinitialize my list if you do control c like this and control v it will again reinitialize the list so your items is again back to the same state now you are going to grocery store with this list of items and all of a sudden you recall that you have to buy butter as well so you will just say items dot append bracket butter okay let's see what happens nice so you see like this was our original list up till here and when you say append it just appended butter towards the end but now in the grocery store butter is in the nearmost aisle as the bread so you ideally want to have butter as at the second place in your individual list how do you do that so let me again reinitialize the list so that we are back to the original state so let me just confirm okay i don't have a butter now i want to now insert butter at this location immediately after bread so i say items dot insert okay so what insert will do is rather than appending at the end it will insert an element at a specific location as you see in the tooltip it is showing you some help so index means the index at which you want to insert it so at which index you want to insert it so bread is zero and one so at one is the location where you want to insert it so butter and enter let's see what we got voila so after bread now i have butter all right now what do you do if you want to join to list so you're going to a grocery store and you prepared a list of all food items so let's say you have all your food items here and your wife made a list of all the bathroom items right so you now have got like two lists one is the food items and your wife has made a list of all the bathroom items so let's say this is the list that she's having and as you both are going to go sister together you want to just have a one, one single list so how do you do that so you can say my items is equal to food plus bathroom so this way by using plus sign so what you're doing here is food is a variable pointing to one list bathroom is a variable pointing to another list when you say food plus bathroom it is going to join these two lists together and on the left hand side of equal to sign is another variable called items and it will assign that list to it so if you print items you will get this so now you've got the combined list okay now if i have a list which is food and if i want to insert just single item can i do like this so let's try it what happens so i want to buy soda as well if you do this then it won't work because you cannot add string or any or number to a list whenever you're doing plus sign you have to make sure on the left hand side as well as on the right side both the things should be list so that was about concatenation you can figure out the length of the list using this command length so now i got all these items in my list right so i have these many items and i want to know how many items i'm going to buy from the grocery store so for that use this function len so when you say len opening bracket items it is going to print the length of these items so as you see it's five one two three four five okay all right now i have this long list and i'm doing my shopping i want to know whether i added fruits to my list or not how do i do that i can just read this list one by one this is a simple one but let's say if you're a long list and if you are using a powerful programming language like python you don't want to read these items one by one there should be a better way of doing it right and that way is the in operator so you can say bread 
in items and it will say true right if you say soda in items and it says false because it didn't find soda in item so whenever you want to do lookup in the list you can use this operator in all right so that was all about list thanks for watching